Greetings everyone and welcome back to Terraria where I have to do a quick intro even though I'm not ready because Die of Cthulhu is watching me again so it might strike any second and uh, I want to have that on camera now even though I don't have the double jump I have a lot more HP than last time and I also have some potions so I think we might be able to defeat it uh, might be a bit over each, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I guess I'll take these potions as well. Might, I might as well. Not hurt. Get some food. Uh, I got good potions, so that's nice. Uh, let's see if I have enough time. To smell? Nope, I don't. All right. Uh, well, hello there. Uh, I haven't used my potions yet. Okay, open inventory. Use potions. Just calm down. You are good. We go with this. Now we fight the AF tool. Everything will be fine. Just calm down. And we'll kill the bad eye. There we go. So that's. I'll wait for it to charge. Okay. If it does that. So. Mine with it as well. Phase 1, obviously, should be easy. Uh, I'm not even taking damage, I'm managing to regen all of it. Uh, the trouble starts uh, when he enrages and enters phase 2. And we'll see if our higher health pool and potions are enough to overcome that. Okay. Yo. Keep going this way a bit more. I'm not doing much damage to it. Not sure why. Let's uh, do a little bit of bow action. Let's I have that archery potion. Now obviously the bow has the drawback. Aha, uh -huh, pun intended. Uh, of uh, not killing the tiny eyes. Uh, but it does more damage. So Try using it for a bit. In fact, let me just smack you off. There we go. You've entered the phase transition. So we gotta be very careful now. Okay. Just run away. The swiftness potion is helping a lot. I'm managing to outrun him. This might actually work. How do I turn here though? Oh, right. Right, the hard mode version. No way I'm outrunning that with anything. So... Okay, okay. Somehow I didn't uh, get hit there. Switch back to the... Oh. It's looking good though, he's low HP. Okay, just keep shooting him. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, that sweetness potion is helping a lot. Uh, and our second boots might be doing work as well. Not too sure. If they only work on some stupid zombie, you don't have time for you. Okay, okay. Is it me or is he getting even angrier? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, better not run out of arrows. I think I have plenty more. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, yeah, he's definitely getting more angry. We have defeated him! Nice! Okay, guess I didn't need that double jump after all. Oh, that feels good. Okay, what kind of drops did we get though? Uh, my inventory was empty, so I should have everything on me. Let's return back to the castle. And see what we got. Okay, let's just get here safety all right we got uh oh okay all right click to open uh guarding shield what guarding shield of cthulhu 31 melee damage okay defense very strong knockback allows the player to dash into the enemy and it says export, so I guess this is an export only weapon. Okay. So how exactly do you work? Uh, I mean, it's not really attacking, is it? Am I missing something? How do I attack with you? Do I equip it somewhere else? 
Huh. Equipable. Does this say equipable? No, it doesn't. Alright, so I need to equip this somewhere. Question is... Oh, okay. I see how it is. So I guess we can equip it instead of this shackle, maybe? It will drop my defense a bit, but... So, I guess uh, it's not a normal weapon. Uh, I guess the only way I do damage with it... Is... Uh, by this dash. Uh, I'm not too sure I like that too much, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, but at least we got a pretty good uh, amount of cream paint. Now, I won't be able to... Let me actually just smelt all of my ores. Uh, might as well. Ooh, a large ruby. Ooh, a ruby hook. Interesting. So yeah, let's uh, smelt everything first. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying is I won't be able to make cream tain armor. Uh, because I don't have the scales or their equivalent from the Eater of Worlds. I'm guessing it's gonna be something different here. Okay, get all the lead. And then we need to smelt... I mean, don't really need the tungsten, but might as well smelt it. And then most importantly, the platinum. A bunch of that. And that means I can make my chest piece. That should be a nice upgrade. Let's see. So tungsten chest piece, and there we go, platinum chainmail. Let's make one of you. Very nice. And we'll find a place for you somewhere. I can actually make the platinum helmet. Which I mean, I suppose maybe I could. Do I need platinum for anything else? I'm already using the emerald stuff. Ooh, diamond stuff. Okay. Not seeing a ruby stuff, so... I guess that's not uh, one of the things you can make with it. Fair enough. I mean, the diamond stuff sounds like a good investment. Since uh, basically the problem with the helmet is I'm not using it much. Because I want to use the mining helmet. It's just too useful. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much all of my platinum. So I cannot make... Uh, the platinum helmet, uh, which is fine. Uh, can I make... Wait a minute. Magiluminescence, can I craft you? With topaz and cream taint. Yes, please. Thank God. I've been missing this thing so much. Alright, I guess I'll retire these boots for now. Nice. So, I guess I don't need the mining helmet after all. Obviously. Don't have the platinum for the better one, so... I just have to find where exactly I put my tungsten helmet. Let's see. Yeah, we can use that one. Oh, look at that movement speed. Isn't it great? We have movement speed. We glow now. It's just... Uh, what more can you ask for? Uh, let's drop uh, the money. I guess I don't have enough space for these. That's fine. Where did I leave my tungsten helmet? Why am I not seeing it? Here, maybe? Uh, no, still not seeing it. What happened to my... What? Did I miss it down here? Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's equip that. We'll leave the mining helmet here. Okay, so we won't be needing it, needing it anymore. Can speak. And let's drop off some of this stuff down here. Since it won't be needed anymore. And now... Now we're looking good. Okay. Very nice. So, now I'm actually feeling like I'm in the proper mid-game. Uh, even though I don't have my double jump. Maybe at this point I could just look for wings or something. Because it's getting ridiculous. Uh, the amount of unluckiness. Or however you want to say it. I have with uh, finding that cloud in a bottle. So what I was thinking is uh, we go over to the jungle and look for some moon glow. Because if I find moon glow, obviously, I can make uh, spelunker potions with it, with it. And the spelunker potions combined with my detector sound like a recipe for finding chests. 
So that's my mission for now. I already have the blink rod, uh, which is the other ingredient, so don't have to worry about that one. Uh, but we still need that uh, moon glow, so I believe it grows in the jungle. And uh, I think it also grows in caves, not too sure. Uh, but I'm pretty sure about the jungle. Now that still means I could be wrong, because I don't completely remember. Uh, but I just remember finding some of it in the jungle. Even if it isn't, I'm sure we'll find something else. So it's not gonna be a waste. Uh, but yeah, now that I have some actual HP... Uh, oh, got the wrong thing selected. Uh, now that I have some actual HP, I can pro properly live in the jungle instead of just getting killed by the first mob that sees me. So we can explore it. See if we can find something interesting here. Eventually, we have to fight the Queen Bee. Uh, not sure when that's gonna happen, but it will have to happen at some point. Mr. Piranha, if we could just move away, that would be nice. And we'll use the hook. Oh, this is actually not working. Let me actually get some oxygen real quick. There we go. Can I do this? There we go. That should work. And now we are past uh, the point where we've explored before. So I gotta keep my eyes peeled for that moon glow. Uh, the jungle slimes are tougher than the normal ones, so I gotta be a bit more careful. It doesn't seem like there is anything here. Let's keep going. Can I there we go, nice. Okay, nothing too crazy here. Just got some slime so far. It's fine. Did not mean to slaughter you, Mr. Parrot. I'm sorry about that. Uh, some of these, nothing too crazy. A lot of hives. Oh, we have a chest. Nice. What kind of goodies uh, do we have for me? An iron skin potion, yes, please. What the hell is this? Hold up to reach higher. Probably never gonna use that. Uh, but, you know. I remove the chest and uh, there, appears, there, there appears to be another chest nearby. So let's try and find it. Okay, something like this. Make sure we check everything. This is looking good. Oh no! Kill me. Okay, that was uh, pretty bad. Could have ended my life here. Thankfully we didn't, uh, but I should be more careful. There's no reason for me to be rushing around this much. Okay, so we have a minecart truck. Uh, let's explore it. I did not mean to break that hive. Okay, nothing too crazy. And that's the end of it, so... Let's go the other way. That's an interesting sound. Wonder what that is. Also, we are out of the chest range, so definitely pass that one. Keep breaking hives. At least they are not that terrible by the looks of things. Uh, this rail goes for quite a while. Nice to see. It even has an under... Oh, I see. Okay, well, fair enough. I guess let's go back. I'm not sure if the moon glow grows underground. Might be only above, so I kind of want to explore the above part of the jungle first. So let's make our way there as much as we can. I want to touch to the rail. There we go. This this nice I'll go up ah okay how do I go about this and okay, something like this and I attach here and I open it up like this and perfect I am out what is making that sound though it's like some sort of growling Really weird. Let's check this out. 
have any chests here? Doesn't seem to be the case. Now we have one of these lovely plants. Uh, no, thank you. Not interested. Alright, dodge the slime. And let's make our way back to the surface. Even though there is a chest here, that chest cannot contain our cloud in a bottle, so oh, not mean to do that. So it's not that valuable. Now of course the jungle does have uh, its own nice trinkets, so a chest is nice, but right now the main thing I'm after is that moon glow. We seem to have another entrance here. It's uh, loaded though, so I don't really want to bother with it. Do these guys. I got a violent compass. Uh, that's fine, I already had a compass. In fact, I already had a violent compass. Okay, let's do this. Okay, looking good. Let's help the Ferrania. I really hope I haven't missed any moon glow. I might be kind of blind to it. A lot of things uh, to look at in the jungle, so you know. If I've missed any, I'm sorry. I don't mean to fall down here. I guess at least uh, we can explore the world. Now, with me being able to go past uh, this jungle, it also means that I can reach uh, the end of the world uh, to the right. That's another chest which unlocks uh, Shimmer. Uh, which is kind of nice. Can probably make some use out of it. Quick aglet. It's already what I have, so I'll just leave it behind. And okay, so here we have crimson again. Should be able to make my way through this much more easily than last time. So just uh, slowly but surely make our way. The mob shouldn't be able to stop me. Very nice, okay. Just keep going. Lead detected nearby. It's cool, but I don't need any lead, so I have to ignore it. No chests in this cave, seems like. We were not detecting anything. Okay, yeah, just something. It's fine. Why did that not connect? There we go. Make sure to remove the thorns. Instead of running into them. Okay, I'm seeing a chest. Let's see what's inside it. It's a basic one, so it shouldn't be trapped. Uh, lead bars. Radar. And some potions. Nothing too crazy. So let's just keep going. That Magilum in essence is such a buff. With the increased movement speed. And especially the light when it becomes nighttime. Oh, we actually have another giant tree here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess why not? I'm kind of expect expecting things to be like my last world, but they don't necessarily have to, so. Let's get this. Don't care about the umbrella. Take the arrows. Do we have any chests under here? Oh. Okay, like so. Okay, we have another chest. A leaf wand that consumes wood and places leaves. Fair enough. Consumes wood, places living wood. Not sure what that is. I haven't found these items before, so we have to experiment with them. How about down at the bottom? Do we have anything? Okay, nothing so far. Oh. Uh, just some water. Alright. Fair enough, let's uh, make our way out. And I should be able to do this with my boots. There we go. Actually, wait, did I? No, I can Still have the food spikes. Okay, good, good. Oh. There we go. So. Perfect. Alright, we are out. Let's continue. See if we can find any more of these big trees. Um, 
in here by the looks of it. And that's the beach. Okay. So actually, by the looks of it, the tungsten, uh, or not the tungsten, the shimmer, should probably be somewhere below this tree. Uh, we have uh, Ivan again, but I don't have a house for him, so I'm not gonna wake him up. I'll just uh, let him sleep. So what I wanna do is try and dig down. I think the shimmer was about here or something like that last time. I just go to the bottom of this and throw some bombs. See if we can find it. Now I don't really have anything to transform just yet. But oh, this actually goes deeper than I expected. Uh, but it's nice to know uh, that we have found the shimmer. Uh, main things I'm looking to transform. Heart crystal into the one that gives you more regen. That sounds quite useful. Uh, stuff like that really. Okay, let's... I really need to quickly drain this. There we go. So I can actually breathe. Nice. Let's continue the bombing. Okay, that opened up again. Uh, not sure what hit me there, but... Okay, nothing there. Get some more air. Let's keep exploding things. Now, the shimmer doesn't really take up that much space, so... It is entirely possible that I miss it. We're detecting a chest somewhere nearby. Oh, great. I love traps. Uh, in there... There is that... Uh, boulder I'm seeing. Okay, so do something like this. Let's just blow it up. Uh, doesn't move. Interesting. Still on the... Alright. Can we... How do I defuse you without dying? I guess I'll just have to... Get down or something. That boulder really worries me. Let's see. Do something like this. There we go. Okay. Now I know I can go down. Probably get eaten by a fish, but uh, you know. At least I'm not gonna get crushed by a boulder. Right. Empty all this water. It's good. Let me breathe. What is this? Some statue? Okay. Not too crazy. Okay, this place seems very deep, so I want to be careful. Not to sink too much. Life crystal that's nearby. That's cool. And how deep does this go? There is our oxygen hole. So let's just keep blowing things up. That's a lot of water that I've collected on my way down. Uh, maybe the shimmer is a bit more to this side, I'm not too sure. I mean, for all I know, it might not even be on this side of the map. So I guess we'll just do our explosions for now, see if we find anything. If we don't, that's fine. Unfortunately, I didn't find any moon glow in the jungle, which is a shame. So that uh, probably means that I was wrong about it uh, spawning in the jungle. Maybe it spawned somewhere else. I need to check that out uh, for the next time. I also gotta check, maybe I have seeds for it. Ooh, we, have a, we have a truck. Okay. Let's explore this. Ooh, stop, stop, stop. Found something I like. Very nice. Okay. No, no. God damn it. Okay. No, stop. Why... Why is there radioactive grass? Over there. It doesn't fill me with much confidence. Let's see. I mean, I suppose this one glows too, but... 
One is glowing green. Don't remember seeing that before. Doesn't really seem like uh, we'll find any shimmer here though. So I guess it could spawn on the other end of the map as well. Either that or I just missed it. It's also possible. Uh, but yeah, honestly, I think we go back. Ooh, nice. Thank you very much. And uh, what the hell are you? That was a weird looking skeleton. Uh, and we have ourselves a golden chest along with another life crystal. Uh, this place is uh, kind of spoiling me, I gotta say. Now where... where are the traps? This is a golden chest. Are there explosives below it? Uh, doesn't actually seem to have any. Well, that's nice. Alright then. In that case... Let's... Can I drain this a bit more? Do it like this. Alright. So... Ooh! Got a bundle of regeneration. That's kind of stopped. That's kind of nice. We got the Knight of Cthulhu. And that's cool. Uh, nothing else too crazy though. Uh, I think we are about ready to return. And uh, we got some celebration for our success, which is nice. Okay, drop these off. Oh, actually, I'm stupid. This is a herb bug. It might have moon glow in it. How do I open you? There we go. Moon glow seeds. Alright, well that solves that issue. Now just give me a second. Alright, so as I suspected, uh, we are nearing the end of our allotted time. So, I'm gonna be ending the episode here. We might not have found moon glow, but we did find moon glow seeds. And moon glow. Okay, I guess I didn't see that one. Uh, so that means next time around we can do a much uh, more efficient search for our double jump. Uh, we also found quite a lot of the hard crystals, so we are almost at max HP, which is great. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Until then.